And somebody had asked me if I have any practical tips when it comes to recording your voiceover or when you're about to record your demo reel. In fact, I have so many of them. So I have compiled all my best ones. Make sure you stick around all the way until the very end because as usual, I keep my best tip for last. So keep on watching. Hey, what's happening? It's good to see you back here. And if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to invite you to please click the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Tap the notification bell just so you know if I have anything new out. And of course, give me a thumbs up if you feel like you like this video. Hey, I'm always so happy to hear from you down below in my comments. So if you're here, please just type in I'm here at any point at all. A good tip to start with is actually from a sound engineer friend of mine. He, he said, said that the best way to make sure you have good quality recording is to make sure you already sound good during recording. And I think that's fantastic advice. So where do you start? You start with your surrounding. You need to make sure that your room is quiet. I've said this over and over again, close your windows shut, turn, turn off, off your fan, Turn off your air conditioner. And if you can, tell your roommates or your family to give you one hour of quiet time. My next practical tip to make the most out of your audio recording is to stand up. When you stand up, you can be a little bit more animated. You can be happy if you're meant to be happy. You can be sad if you're meant to be sad. You can be a little bit more corporate if you're meant to be corporate. Because when you're standing up, your energy comes through and it goes through your voice. As opposed to sitting down, your diaphragm can be constricted or you don't have a lot of room to move. And moving a little bit coupled with hand gestures can convey the right emotion you're going for. Third tip, do your vocal warm-up exercises. If you don't know any, it's okay, I've got you covered. Make sure you watch my video on vocal warm-up exercises and you can click the link here. Next tip is to go through your script a couple of times. Go through it, read it out loud, and make sure you know how to pronounce all the words just so you don't have to stop in the middle of your script to look it up. This next tip is very important, especially if you pop your P's and your B's. There are actually two ways you can prevent that. First one is a pop filter. If you don't have a pop filter, make sure that your mic is not directly in front of you. What you can do is turn it to its side. That way, the air that's produced by your mouth when you say your P's and your B's will not go directly into the microphone. Another tip about your microphone. If you have a super cardioid microphone, which means it picks up mostly what's in front of it, make sure that anything that's noisy is directed towards the back of your microphone. Hey, before I get to my next tip, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up right now. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button down below and tap the notification bell just so you know if I have anything new out. Now we're ready for the next tip. Try not to move too much, especially if it's affecting the distance from your mouth to the microphone, because then your audio will not be level. My next tip will be a lot of help for your sound engineer, or if you edit your own audio, this will be a lot of help to you too. If you make a mistake in the middle of a sentence, do not pick up from the middle of that sentence. Try to go back to the start of that sentence, just so your tone is even and natural all throughout. You would hate it so much if you find yourself with one sentence in two different tones. If you're a teacher, or a lecturer, or someone who is holding a webinar and you have a long script to read through, make sure that you mark your scripts with breaths. This will be a good reminder for you to slow down and take a breath as you go through your long script. And 
my last and best tip for you is to make sure that your facial expression matches the tone of your script. What do I mean by this? Your audience will easily sense the emotion behind the words that you're saying. And an easy hack for that is, if your script is happy, smile and make sure that your words are smiling too. If the script you're reading is supposed to be emotional, we'll make sure that your facial expression matches that tone. The point is, don't just read a script, become that person in the script. And there you have it. You have all my best tips when it comes to recording. What was your favorite one? Let me know down the comment section down below. And that's all I have for you today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Tap that notification bell just so you know if I have anything new out. And of course, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please do share this video with your friends, especially to those who you know will benefit from this. And with that, I'll wish you all a fantastic day and I'll see you on my next video. My next practical tip to make the most uh, So if you're here, just comment, I'm here, just so I know if you're, I think, Just so you're level. Okay, so this is a test. Can you see my face even with the microphone right in front of me? Test.